my family, and my life because I acted selfishly, I acted like a coward, and I behaved like a boy when I should have behaved like a man. And all I can do now is ask for forgiveness, and whether or not I deserve that forgiveness, whether or not I ever get that forgiveness, all I can do is act in a way that's best for my wife and kids because I didn't do so in the past. Kevin Clancy, AKA KFC Barstool, is a longtime host with Dave Portnoy's company. Colin Kaepernick not standing for the national anthem has become a huge story. When I heard this story, I didn't read it. I didn't know why he was saying there. I was like, oh, he's an ISIS guy. Like that was my original thought. That's dumb, but he is first team all racial confusion. I don't know what's going on there. He so has the beard. It's not crazy. Dufro, Dufro. terrorist beard, terrorist skin. Yeah. It's confusing. This would be a theme of Clancy's. It just seems like Colin Kaepernick is like, uh, maybe it's because he's not really that black. He more, does look like a terrorist. So that's, you know, you should be a little bit more respectful that you live in this country. When discussing a co-worker wearing blackface with Portnoy and co-host Dan Katz, Clancy would say the following. He went as like the big three for basketball and he was Kevin Garnett. Full blackface. Do we have a picture? Oh yeah, with his two black buddies, which I, maybe is, makes it okay. It does. Yeah, like, How's that not been blocked? If you do blackface with two black guys, that and they're okay with it. You get a you get a pass. You're allowed to. Unfortunately, Clancy inserted himself into another big story from the weekend: the World Baseball Classic. As we brought to you last week, Edwin Diaz star closer for the New York Mets, celebrated a win with his team in the WBC and suffered a season-ending injury. Clancy would write, I literally hope every single one of these WBC losers has a player on their MLB team get injured. I hope there's 29 injured stars and you all have to defend your stupid, worthless, fake takes about a tournament that's fun for five seconds before it's completely forgotten. Asinine. Sad about losing a favorite of his, He'd call fans of the tournament dorks and label it the fake World Series. Jared Carabas, a former host at Barstool who went to DraftKings, would tweet, In supporting the WBC, I'm puzzled as to why some people are making this a WBC versus MLB thing. It's baseball versus everybody else thing. Clancy would tweet, More decaying man yells at cloud jargon to his former co-worker, insisting all that should matter is his team and that the WBC is irrelevant. Speaking of... <laughs> These were the scenes in Puerto Rico, but, you know, no one cares, right? Well, that is indeed what Clancy would write, which is, of course, false. Front Office Sports wrote of the record shattered from this year alone. Clancy would continue digging his own hole, not realizing the stupidity he tweets, continually putting down the tournament and labeling it an exhibition. When talking baseball on Twitter, asked the team from the Dominican Republic, if you had a choice to win the World Series or WBC, which would it be? They answered, the World Baseball Classic, taking an ax to Clancy's own words and shattering them completely. Former MLB outfielder Adam Jones would weigh in, baseball has grown so much across the world. Sorry Americans only think about America. See the world and get out of your bubble. A fair critique. Current Chicago Cubs pitcher Marcus Stroman would also come across Clancy's lunacy. You're an idiot. Very typical coming from a barstool boy. You're completely irrelevant and your opinions will never hold any weight. Wishing harm slash injury on anyone shows how trash you are. Players love competing for their countries and take pride in it. Poo poo take, you clown. Clancy would call him a crybaby and label him thin-skinned. In an attempt to get back at Stroman, Clancy would misquote him. Attributing what you see on your screen to the pitcher... When really, it was from former second baseman Ian Kinsler. Clancy would call Stroman a race-baiting loser who is incapable of making arguments without calling someone a racist. This is the point in the clip where I say, trigger warning, extreme racism from Barstool Sports' Kevin Clancy. Oh blank, it's Puerto Rican parade day. Lock your doors and shut your windows. Watch for stray bullets, he would tweet. Sounds like Team Canada beat the blank out of Mexico. Not so tough without your shanks and shivs, are you Mexicans? I love all this blatant racism with Jeremy Lin. Hilarious. Out of all the lame, embarrassing blank you Jews do, playing spin the top is the saddest of all. When asked, why do you guys always assume any Spanish person is a Mexican or Puerto Rican? Clancy would reply, what else is there? These Asian reporters have got to be kidding me. Calling the Nets the no-good team. Might as well just yell and then... 
prints what you see on your screen, which is highly offensive. Imagine you have 30 adopted Africans and your wife demands custody in the divorce. I'd sign those papers so fast their adopted heads would spin, he wrote. There's more. We lost to Nigeria in basketball. Do they even have food? You know what? I'm just going to go watch the UFC and more. Zelda is for nerds, Pokemon is for Asians, and little babies. He stated how he hates black women, but would give Beyonce a shot. He pulled the same lame, racist Nigeria joke on Honduras. Then, there was more with Honduras. Extra pennies in your UNICEF boxes this year, he tweeted. Then he'd pull the same shtick again. All of this to say he's a bigot who is one of the faces of the company. Attacking Marcus Stroman and the WBC simply backfired tremendously. Speaking of Stroman, Clancy would DM him apologizing for the misquote, yet did not care to do it in the public forum. He also played the fake news, fake quotes angle. You apologize that you're still going on Twitter, Stroman wrote. I truly feel sorry for this privileged little boy. Society needs to know how lame some of these media personalities are. It's comical. My next book addresses this exact topic. His book, by the way, is titled Spin, which is available for pre-order.